I didn't think I'd ever be a professional writer. I, I wanted to write when I was at university. It was sort of a, a need, a necessity for me to kind of discover what the hell was going on in me, I think. And that was how I began to write. Unlike a lot of writers who know they're going to be writers at the age of six or something, you know, I, I didn't know till I was about 19. That's when I began. Tom Waits says it, it's like doing the dishes after a meal, you know. Not a very nice thing to say. Obviously you need to do interviews. I'm, I read interviews, I listen to writers being interviewed, and, and it's often fascinating. But it's a bit odd, at, especially at first, when you've just finished a book, you, you suddenly have to kind of turn on it and try and be articulate about it, and you're not quite articulate yet. I've had a nomadic life, so each place I go to, or each book in a way, is like a, a new country so that there's a kind of sense of discovery of oneself, or aspects of oneself, or aspects of an invented self. I try with each book to try and be a different person. I've no real interest in writing a memoir or an autobiography. Why would you go into, into a, writing a book that you know everything already? Books are places of discovery and curiosity. So you, you don't know everything. You don't know how a book is going to end. And, and that, that is, the, is part of the adventure of writing a book. So rather than write a memoir, you write a, a fictional story that uses some of the ingredients of memoir. At my school, uh, they came to our school and asked, various, interviewed us for about half an hour, and then they went away, and then they came back a month later and told us what we would be suited for, and they told me I'd be a very good customs officer. So maybe it's my future. Ha, ha, ha.